One of the most exciting people that Van Dyck met in Sicily was the aged female painter Sofonis Banguissola, who had worked between Spain and Italy in the previous years, and she had given drawing lessons to the mother of the Viceroy of Sicily. At this point in the 1620s, she lived in Sicily with her husband, who was from Genoa, and Van Dyck went to visit her on the 12th of July, 1624. He traveled with a sketchbook in which he drew what he was seeing around Italy and in Palermo. And there is a wonderful drawing in the sketchbook of the old Sofonisba sitting in a chair, surrounded by notes that Van Dyck took, telling us what the old painter was telling him in terms of tips on how to portray people and how to paint. In Sicily, Van Dyck produced a series of devotional paintings. We know from inventories and documents that many of such paintings were produced, representing crucifixions, the Virgin and Child, various scenes from the New Testament. Only a few of these pictures survive. One of them is probably the great stoning of Saint Stephen, the first martyr of Christian history, which belonged to a very colorful character, Fabrizio Valguarnera, the legitimate son of a Sicilian nobleman who was later involved with one of the most famous diamond heists of the 17th century and became infamous in Rome for paying painters and artists with the diamonds he had stolen from a group of merchants in Spain. In the midst of the plague in 1624, the bones of a medieval saint of Sicily, Rosalia, were found on a, in a cave on a mountain outside Palermo. Immediately the saint became the protector of the city against the plague and she was prayed and, and worshipped throughout the years and still to this day in Palermo. Van Dyck was the first significant artist to portray the saint in a series of canvases. For the first time we have all five of the existing ones here in the exhibition. And he devised the iconography of the saint, this blonde young woman wearing very simple clothes outside her cave on top of the mountain um, with angels crowning her with roses um, as a reference to her name, Rosalia. The saint to this day is the protector of the city and every July in memory of the finding of the bones, a great procession is held in the city.